to our seven days Rugby World Cup special. Our next round is answers. Basically, in the Rugby World Cup special, I'll give the team's answers from particular countries. They need to give me a question that matches the answer. Team one, you can go first. Uh, what's the question to this answer? What, what is the last thing you want your jaw to do in the middle of a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> Where does Scotland keep its mythical creatures? No. Oh. Corbett should replace his fridge magnets with a fridge what? <laughs> Um, what do you call a man with his head between another man's legs and another <laughs> man's head between his legs? The human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> the question I was looking for, it came from Fiji. There you go, Fijian flag. And it is, what position is Fijian rugby player Leone Nakarawa? Officials say he won't be allowed into New Zealand for the cup because he is a soldier in the Fijian army. The government has banned Fijian rugby players with military connections, criminal convictions, uh, or who are competitive at the breakdown. <laughs> How greedy is this guy? They've only got two jobs in Fiji, soldier and rugby player. He's got both of them. Yeah. It's, it's like a Belgian guy being a chocolatier and a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get but however, they're stuff. complimentary jobs. <laughs> uh, team 2, your turn now. Here is your first answer. What's the question, please? Right. Irish baby. What drinks half pints of Guinness? <laughs> <laughs> What does Angelina Jolie want for Christmas? <laughs> what quite often gets mistaken for a leprechaun? <laughs> What's another name for fetal alcohol syndrome? <laughs> Mel Gibson was arrested driving with the blood alcohol level of a what? <laughs> What weighs seven pounds where where's a balaclava and says, fuck you, Seamus? <laughs> question there comes from Ireland, not surprisingly. And the question is, what did Barack Obama hold during his visit to Ireland in May? An Irish baby. While he was there, Obama congratulated Ireland on their world-famous inventions, the helicopter ejector seat, the screen door on the submarine, and the waterproof tea bag. Well done. <laughs> so is Obama Irish? <laughs> He's uh, got Irish ancestry. Yeah. He traces it back a couple of generations. Yeah. Obama. I want to... <laughs> Here's your next answer, Team One. It's from one of our countries, the Rugby World Cup, Korea. Oh. Oh, um, despite sounding remarkably like the word career, what is not a career? <laughs> <laughs> um, pornographic videos give unrealistic expectations to men in which career? <laughs> The only thing worse than being a what is being a bicycle what? <laughs> <laughs> um, what did Chappelle Corby regret writing down as her occupation on her arrival card? <laughs> I totally disagree with the politics of North Wear. <laughs> <laughs> There's a question there. It came from the uh, US of A. And it's what did the US Army use to track down and kill Osama bin Laden in May? A courier. The description they had for him was a tall man with a long beard wearing a turban. So according to this, it was either bin Laden they shot or any other man in the Middle East. <laughs> How done would you feel falling through the oldest trick in the book? He's hiding. You're like, oh, we've got a uh, package here for Osama. He's like, oh, that's my... Oh! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Here's your next answer, Team 2. Oh, yes. What's the question? One day. Mm. Um, what would this show be called without New Zealand on air? <laughs> <laughs> um, when your girlfriend asks you how many people you've slept with, you can expect approximately how much silent treatment for everyone you admit to. <laughs> <laughs> There's that worst thing when you get asked that question, we go, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, then you. Uh, <laughs> seven. <laughs> <eight>. <laughs> Spanish conquistador Juan Deus <laughs> is frequently mispronounced as one. New Zealand salaries will be the same as Australia's. When? <laughs> when everyone gets on a boat and moves to Bondi. <laughs> question uh, comes from Samoa, would you believe? And it's how far forward will Samoa be shifting its time zone in December? One day they're going to do this by changing the dateline. Um, funny story, I've had to change my dateline over the years. Uh, used to be, hi, can I buy you a drink? Now it's, uh, <laughs> Megan, am I allowed a drink? What's <laughs> All right, here's your next answer, Team One. What is the question, please? It's from one of the Rugby World Cup competing countries, oh, golf. Yeah. Ironically, what do you both have to be a millionaire and unemployed to get any good at? <laughs> <laughs> If you're clubbing a seal, you're probably not playing what? <laughs> <laughs> what has more clubs and holes than the main street of Hamilton? <laughs> um, Minnie, what 
makes Di look normal? Oh. Oh, yeah, they're going to say I'm going to show you the back of my shirt. Um, I am quite small, by the way. I am a small dude. The next size down was a onesie, I think. <laughs> Right, the, uh, the question matching golf uh, comes from Japan, actually, and it is what sport have sumo wrestlers been banned from playing in an attempt to remove distractions before big tournaments? It's the worst scandal to hit sumo wrestling since the 1994 bulimia scare. <laughs> I was wondering how you'd fit a sumo in a golf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need butter and a run-up. <laughs> yeah. Team two, you're up next. Here's your next answer. What's the question, please? 1,300. How many M&Ms can you fit in a walking sock? <laughs> How many koalas can you fit in a Volkswagen? <laughs> 78. <laughs> They're very clingy. You put the first ones in, you think you're going to get about a grand Owen, but then they start clinging on to the doors, you can't squeeze more koalas <laughs> past. In the Navy, the most masculine of armed forces, what time do they have brunch? <laughs> How sick would men have if they got periods? <laughs> when watching a Rugby World Cup game with your girlfriend, approximately how many simple questions about the rules will you have to answer <laughs> in an 80 minute period? <laughs> uh, Spanish conquistador mil trescientos. <laughs> uh, often shortens his name to what? <laughs> what year is it in Huntley? <laughs> the real question there came from Canada and the question was how many journalists covered William and Kate's trip to Canada? Very successful trip, the Royal Couple uh, impressed the crowds by speaking French. Funny William's mother had known a few French phrases, eh, like slow down or seatbelt, would have been. I go everywhere the Queen goes, eh? That's my policy. That's why I caught you inside a corgi last night. Yeah. <laughs> What really annoys How me... How does the Queen get inside a corgi? <laughs> Butter and a runner. <laughs> <laughs> what more videos? Don't answer. Just subscribe to the 7 Days YouTube channel.